This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. Let's go to my favorite Republican. Lately, this guy's been winning in a landslide. Louis Gohmert. Gohmert? He's at it again. Uh, the goofball from uh, uh, the Republican side uh, from the great state of Texas uh, was on Frank Gaffney's program, and they were talking about creeping Sharia law. They're concerned, and if you don't know, Sharia law is uh, strict Muslim fundamentalist law, and apparently it's taken over the country. They just they, they want to warn you in case you get ensnared by it. Let's listen in. The biggest shock out of all of this is that the women's liberation groups have not just gone berserk over this creep into our society that diminishes women as it does. Yeah, this creep of Sharia law you're talking about, Congressman Louis Gohmert. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. They're they're nowhere to be seen as this is such an affront to everything that they supposedly hold dear. It's it's really extraordinary, and it's why we're so delighted that you are in place in the United States Congress and uh, that you will be holding... Uh, fourth, I know, is uh, the Judiciary Committee begins uh, its deliberations this uh, session. I'm hoping we're going to have some hearings because I'm going to be pushing for them to discuss this issue because it does diminish the Constitution when you bring any law in that doesn't allow women to be full, equal citizens. You know, I think they're getting desperate because... I mean, is this resonating with anybody? Does anybody in the real world think, oh, my God, we're getting taken over by Muslim law here in the United States? When's the last time Sharia law affected you? Any of you? Anyone you know? You know why the answer is no for every single person watching? Because it never does. I mean, where is Sharia law taking over? (laughs) They live in a different universe. Now, the thing is, Frank Gaffney is doing it on purpose. He's the talk show host there. He's a well-known neocon. He pushed for the Iraq war. He's pushing for war against Iran. There isn't a Muslim country that Frank Gaffney is not interested in bombing, okay? And so it helps his political cause to scare Americans and to go, boo, oh, they're coming. They're, they're about to take over the Muslims. They're about to institute Sharia law. Okay, so he's doing it on purpose. He's, he's a liar and knows he's a liar, right? He has no... When he goes home at night, he laughs and laughs. Sharia law, where the hell is that? Right? Uh, but Gohmert might just be stupid enough to believe it. Like, he gets to talking point. He's like, oh, my God, I hear Sharia law's coming. It's creeping in. we got to protect the women. Well, isn't that ironic? <laughs> now you want to protect women? We just did a story just a little while ago about Scalia saying, oh, the Constitution doesn't protect women's rights. What are you talking about? No, hell no. They voted against Lily Ledbetter to get fair wages for women, but all of a sudden, Louis Gomer and Frank Gaffney interested in women's rights to protect them for Sharia law. Look, if you really think Sharia law is taking over the United States of America, it's about to be imposed in Topeka, Kansas. Okay, vote for Republicans. If you don't, get your head out of your ass. And look, I'm not even telling you to vote for Democrats, but don't vote for lunatics like this. I mean, literally, I mean, if you really believe it that Muslims are about to take over the country, you should be checked into a mental asylum. You have lost your mind. What is your evidence? You have none. You're just fear, paranoia, and and it's not by accident. That's what wins Republicans' elections. Be scared, be really scared. We will protect you. We will fight against the dirty Muslims. And you know what? It's not just Gomer, I've given you hundreds of examples, but Steve King, who, I'm sorry, Peter King from New York, is about to start an investigation of all Muslims in the country. Whose side are they on? They're brazen, man. That is exactly McCarthyite. And they're doing it to scare the hell out of you so you'll make that mistake of voting for them. Audible.com is the leading provider of audiobooks. In fact, they have over 75,000 titles. And you can listen on your iPod or your MP3 player. You can uh, listen to it anywhere at any time. It's incredibly convenient. And they have books in every single genre imaginable. You can get a free audiobook if you go to audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. Totally true.